Hello YouTube, back with another gun review today. Um, this one I'm going to do an up close uh, video for one of my subscribers, R. Harry. I finally got out of him which, uh, which gun he wanted me to review, and it wasn't the 12 gauge, so I'm sorry about that. But I think this is the one that you were talking about. This here is my six hour SB2022 and 40 Smith and Wesson. Just to show you the gun, gun is safe for review. Mags out. No rounds. Chamber. Gun is good to go. This gun is a 40 caliber, 6 hour. Holds. 12 in the round, 12 in the magazine, with one in the chamber making it 13 plus one. The, the ammunition I carry in it is the Hornady Critical Duty, 180, 175 grain flux lock. Um, this gun has a two dot sight. does have a hammer. As with all SIGs, it has the safety decocker, which is right here. Decocks the hammer. It's got a single action, double action pull. You just keep pulling the trigger. <coughs> this one does not have a loaded indicator chamber. Some of them do, but this one doesn't. Um, I bought this gun about a year ago, um, I was actually buying a pitching in to help buy a Father's Day present for my brother-in-law. I wasn't planning on buying this gun, <coughs> but when we got in there, I, I held it in my hand and I had to buy it. So it was four hundred thirty dollars. Bought some ammo with it. Ended up being like five hundred after tax. Only th one bad thing I didn't like is it only came with one magazine. <coughs> came with one magazine. I did buy three others. These are really, really hard to find. These two here were um, government issued. As you can see. This is, I guess this was a pre-ban um, a pre-ban magazine. We got two of them. I got these for uh, twenty dollars each. I got one extra one. I got this one for thirty dollars. This magazine for thirty dollars. Tell you how to take this gun apart. So what you do is you just lock the slide back right there. You can see this notch right here. You push this little button in, and then it pops out. Should it's hard to do this over the camera. pops out, slide comes right off. Take the spring out, it is not a captured spring so it's got a plastic guide rod with it, works good. Um, it's the inside of the slide barrel in it. This is the standard barrel. You guys can see the rifling in there. 
is what the frame looks like. There's your decocker. Put this back together real quick. Goes on the same way it came off. Goes in there. Take that, you put your pin in. slide that back in there just like that it's a lot trickier to do over a camera I've actually taken this gun apart with with this like this I've had it apart in three seconds I actually timed myself one day thought it was pretty cool I could take it apart in three seconds um, this gun has no safety on it, uh, minus a safety decocker. So if you put a mag in and you load a round in the chamber, your gun's going to look like this with the hammer cocked back. And to safely deactivate that hammer, pop that down and it safety decocks it. It does have a rail. So you can attach a light to it. You can remove the sights, put night sights on it, which I plan on doing it eventually. It's got this textured stippling grip right here. Makes for a good, good purchase on the gun doesn't slide around good good purchase with it with the texturing it comes right here too and it's got a finger groove in case you want to shoot like this with your finger on this a lot of people will do that just for st stability but I, I find myself doing it once in a while but most of the time I just kind of shoot regular my hand like this how you're supposed to um, it does come with an extra back strap if you decide you want to change it out. I've never done it. All you pretty much you got to do is um, there's a little groove in here. There's a little tension and you just p put the tension on this and this thing slides out. I haven't done it yet so I don't plan on it because this fits my hand perfect. Um, This gun has been a really good gun for me. I've put a few hundred rounds through it and haven't had any problems. I mean, what do you expect from a SIG? Um, <clears throat> I think back in, I think it was 2009, the U.S. Tank Armory Company for uh, for the tank division um, ordered, I think it was, I could be wrong, but I think it was 15,000 of these SIG Pros in 9mm. FBS J Dog has has nine millimeter, same gun like this, but in nine. So if you want to see what that looks like, you can go over to his channel. But the, they um, actually issued these SIGs to the the tank armament. Um, but I think it was back in two thousand nine. I think they issued like fifteen thousand of them because uh, they're really reliable. Haven't had any problems with them. So if if the military can use it, so can I. Um, I'll just do some up close shots of it. Trigger pull is pretty good. It's got the single action, double action. It's got reversible. Ambidextrous. You just take this out. 
I don't think this the slide lock is ambidextrous though. That's only um, left for the for right-handed shooters. It's the bottom of the mag. This right here. So you can put a lanyard through it if you'd like. That's your hammer. Decock it. You got your sights. Two dot sight. Which isn't too bad. This gun's very accurate actually for for it having only this type of sight picture. Six hour right there. Yep, my barrel's nice and shiny clean. I uh, clean this gun with frog lube. Um, I trust the stuff, it works pretty good. Frog lube, I'll, I'll do a video on uh, frog lube someday. Anyways, this video is getting really long and I wanna, didn't want to make it too long, but I wanted to, to show an up close of my six hour gun that our Harry wanted to watch. So our Harry, I hope this is the one that you wanted. If not, let me know. I don't mind doing another review on something else. But I think that's what you said it was, was the six hour. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Um, like, favor, comment, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you don't like it. Um, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. You guys have a great night.